EA Sports. Two teams will need their quarterbacks to step up and lead their offenses on the gridiron today. It's the Bills going up against the Falcons. With that, let's send you up to snowy Orchard Park where we say hello to our commentators, Jim Nance and Bill Sims. Gentlemen. Falcons, Bills, the snow is coming down here. What a setting it is as we prepare for today's game. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Phil Sims. And Phil, how about the weather? It's a lot of uh, concern right there. It's a nasty day. Will it be a factor? Yeah, it's going to be a factor, Jim, no doubt about it. I think what you've got to have, too, is the coaches you know, find a way to get your team on top. Because if you get, it, get on top when the weather is bad, the team is trying to catch up, their chances of making a mistake with the football go up dramatically. So whoever scores first has a great advantage in today's game. And Gaze got the football on the tee, and we are ready to get this thing started. Now as we go to the field, it's Devin Hester back deep for the kickoff. With that kick, we're underway. Perhaps the best ever. Hester on the return. Hester's tackled right at the 28. And a run back of about 19. Coming on to the field, he has been a model of consistency since coming into the league out of Boston College, quarterback Matt Ryan. Matt Ryan had a really good last year, even though he didn't get the protection by his offensive line so he proved to everybody even though he's not a speed guy he can stand in that pocket under pressure and make plays the Falcons come out in a bunch set Freeman's gonna receive the toss The defense cannot give up these long runs. You have to hustle to the ball. Get a lot of people around the ball carriers to make sure they don't take short gains and turn them into long ones. Offense lining up here after picking up more than 30 on the previous play. Ryan connects with White. A lot of people have to do a good job on play action passes for them to work. And this time, watch the running back. Nice job selling the fake, and it helps the QB. Heading to the line at the 22. After the long gain, let's see what they do here. Freeman's marked down at the 19. And wide out, one of the biggest threats in the game, Julio Jones. Nobody second guessing the Atlanta Falcons hierarchy now, are they? All those draft picks they gave up for Julio Jones a couple years ago looks like a pretty smart move now. Coming to the line at the 19-yard line. The Falcons come out with a split backfield. Second down and seven. Ryan connects with Julio Jones on that one. First down by the offense in the red zone. And, you know, if you're on the defensive side, you don't have to worry about deep passes anymore. You can be more aggressive and take some chances. No margin for error from just outside the goal line. Games five. On the defensive side, Marcel Darius can be a game wrecker. And they call him the big dancing bear, and I can see why. Big man with great feet. And that's what makes him so tough to block because he can run you over or go around you. Second and goal from the four. There's a signal from the far side. The hands are up. It is a touchdown.
that's a terrific start for this team, Phil, with the early touchdown. Yeah, just the way they planned it, man. You get in there during the week, you practice, you look at all that, all that film, and then you say, here's going to be our starting place for the game. You go out there, you run them, and you score. That is a great feeling. That'll be a touchback, and the ball will be placed at the 20. So the rookie quarterback, it's not his first time onto the field, but still getting his feet wet in the NFL. Yeah, you know, Jim, and every week it just gets a little easier, better. When you walk out there, you can settle those nerves down faster each game you, each game you play. So it's going to be fun to see how he does here today. First down at the 20. Gets the handle here. McCoy taken down. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Get ready. Second and one. McCoy is going to take the handle. That penalty is, of course, so going to down. be accepted by the defense. With the penalty, it's now second down and 11. LaShawn McCoy is in the backfield. Pops to the outside. way third down we'll send it back to the quarterback out of the gun Percy Harvin has the catch he's brought down that's gonna bring up fourth down midway through the first and with that stop this offense will be in excellent position to extend the lead yeah it's going their way right now it is So you got to take advantage of it. The game always has ebbs and flows. And right now, uh, momentum is on your side. Go out there and make a play. That's a gain of seven. The Falcons coming back onto the field on offense. They took it down the field for a touchdown the last time they had it. Listen, momentum is on their side. When you have that going for you, keep the defense guessing at what you're going to do. So I think it's very important to stay aggressive in this situation. First down at the 48. There's a flag out. The defense accepts the penalty. Falcons come to the line with a bunch set. First down at the 42. And it's knocked down. And now they'll 
try over again on second down. Three step drop. Almost intercepted. Third down. Lions alone in the backfield. From the shotgun. And it's spotted away. The Falcons don't have a lot of options. On Third and long situation. The pass goes incomplete, and the defense did a good job of staying back there and not giving up the deep throw. And a touchback here will bring the ball out to the 20. The Bills gearing up for their next drive now as defense has become the order of the day here. These teams trading punts on the previous two possessions. Yeah, when, you, when you're playing in a game like this as a quarterback, you know the defenses are hot, Get and right. the one you're playing against is tough. So you've got to be careful. Be very smart in your decision-making. Don't take any chances in a situation like this. One player to watch on this Buffalo offense is running back LaShawn McCoy. One of the most talked about trades in the offseason picked up from Philadelphia, Phil. Yeah, I like the trade. Look, here, Rex Ryan, what do you want to do on the offensive side? You want to run the football, and why not go out and get one of the best running backs in the NFL? Second down and 10. Wants to go deep. This defensive lineup is anchored by the 340-pound presence of defensive lineman Paul Soliai. Six foot four, 340 pounds. And I'm telling you, you look at him, you think, oh, he, he weighs about 280 pounds. That's how in shape he is. Every defense needs inside presence, and Paul Soliai will give it to you. If this last sequence is any indication, this defense is going to give that quarterback fits as this game goes along. It was a good series for the defense. No. They learned a lot there. Let's see if they can do it and do it more as the game goes along. Hester's going to try and return this punt. Tackled right around midfield and a run back of about five. The Bills defense forced the three and out the last series. You know what they did? They went out there and whooped the offense. You know what I mean by whoop? That means you just dominate, and they did it. Coming to the line of scrimmage right at midfield. First down at the 50. Ryan gives it up. Good yardage picked up on that ball. Freeman's a great running back to have on your football team, isn't he? He goes up in there and gets the first down. Now your offense has three more chances. Now first and ten. Two hands on the football and has the catch. The Falcons did a good job that time throwing a pass on first down and picked up some, some nice yards. Now second and short really puts the defense in a tough position. Second down after that pass play. Freeman's got it on the handle. He's going to be tackled right around the 24-yard line. Freeman's a very smart runner. He knows situations in the game. He saw the first down yard markers, and what does he do? He gets past them and picks up the first down. Ryan's got two tight ends on the field for this snap. Scans the field, makes the catch. That's his first reception today. If you're going to blitz, you got to get to the quarterback and at least hit him. Good job by the offensive line. The QB has time and throws the football down the field for completion. They will snap it now at the seven-yard line. The Bills come out in a dime package. 
First and goal from the seven. Atlanta in for the score. Late in the first quarter, and they're stretching their lead out. It looks like they have it in their minds to put this game away early. Well, that's what they're trying to do, isn't it? They just want to get it over with early, just put all doubt, re just remove all doubt, I should say, from the opponents that you're in for a rough day, and you might as well just give up. And the extra point is good. The Bills are... ...ready to return the kickoff. It'll be a touchback. The Bills' offense is on the field, hoping to erase the memory of their last drive, which was completely unproductive a quick three and out yeah it was yeah, I don't know if they can erase this defense this defense is pretty good we saw that in the last drive they got good players and they're pretty excited so this is going to be tough on the offense nice run that time when you run the football like this over a period of time it's going to wear that defense out there's no doubt about it nice job by the offensive line second and two coming up the Bills pistol set here The Bills take it from the 28. Should have had it, but the hit knocked it out. Good timing by the defensive player that time. He gets to the receiver just as the football is getting there and makes the hit, knocks that football loose. Get ready. Third and two. Has his man. That's his first reception today. Close out the first quarter in Orchard Park, New York. We'll return in just a moment. The Bills on offense here to start the second quarter. The Falcons defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. McCoy's going to secure the handoff. Gains 13. McCoy is a great running back to have on your football team, isn't he? He goes up in there and gets the first down. Now your offense has three more chances. First and ten. Looking across the middle. Trufant's there that time for the tackle. The key to being a really good route runner and running these drag routes across the field is show some courage. Don't worry about what's in front of you. The quarterback will take care of that. Breaking huddle at the 30-yard line. This play set up by the long gainer. McCoy is handed the football. Met by Reed that time. This is one good tackling defense. They stay in good position at all times. And we saw it that time when they stopped the play for a short game. Play number six coming up on this drive. The Bills come to the line and they put their receivers in a bunch formation. Pulls it in. That's a game of six. Good job that time by the quarterback. Looks down the field. Nobody opens, so he throws the drag route. Coming across the field, and it's a nice catch. Just short of the first down. This is third down. Easy catch there. No one near him. Well, the quarterback showed off his arm strength that time, didn't he? He put the football right on the money, on a line, right into the receiver's hands. 
Ready to go from the 13-yard line. First down and 10. LaShawn McCoy takes the handoff. Got to give the defense some credit. On first down, there's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. The Falcons' defense now is going to go nickel. Second and 11. He'll throw it over the middle. Trufant's there to take it down. The Bills' offense, they go with the pass down here in the red zone. They throw the ball, and it's completed. But it doesn't fool the defense. It gets very little yardage. This long drive continues. Get ready. Third and eight. Robert Woods with the reception. <laughs> defense did a good job that time. It's third and long. They know the offense wants to throw it down the field. They cover all the deep receivers and know where to go with the football except short. Well, it's a beautiful drive down the field. Long drive by the offense. They do not get the seven points, but they're fortunate. They do get the field goal try, and they make it. The Falcons... Turn the kick. And no return as this goes for a touchback. Freeman's ready to take his place in the backfield again. And Phil, he staked them to this lead with some outstanding rushing here in the first half. There is nothing this guy can't do with the football in his hands. He can make you miss. He can run over you. He can run around you. He can do it all. And it's been fun to watch. The Falcons running back that time. He makes a bad decision. You can't be looking to make every play a big play when you're running the football. Look for a few yards. Take advantage of that. He tries for the big play. What happens? He gets tackled for a loss. Loss of a couple that time. Second and 12. The catch is made by Julio Jones. Arm strength is a nice thing to have when the window of opportunity is very small. Quarterbacks with strong arms can still fire it in there. Nice throw right on target by the QB. Ryan's completion percentage, 70% on the day. Got to give the defense a lot of, a lot of credit there, don't you, Jim? They are all over the receivers, all over the field, nowhere to throw it, and it just results in an incompletion. He's going to try and return this punt. Gains 15. The Bills know there's three parts to every football game. Offense, defense, and special teams. What a play for the special teams here. Good punt return, good blocking. They get it done. The Bills are getting their offense geared up here. It's going to be interesting to see, Phil, how they react because I know there was a letdown the last time they had it. They kept the ball for a long time. They picked up a whole ton of yardage but ended up with only a field goal. So let's see how they'll react now. Jim, I think you're right. I think they were disappointed in the fact that they executed so many plays and ended up with a field goal. Let's see if they come out and look for something a little more dynamic where they don't have to have those long drives. Look for big plays instead. Get ready. Second down and eight. Watkins is going to pull in the bullet pass. Well, as you saw that receiver make the catch, I'll just say this. You cannot throw the football enough his way. Uh, there's no such thing. When in doubt, you don't like anything, turn and find him and throw it to him. Let's go. Back to the air here on first down. It's intercepted. That was an awesome job by the defense. They just read the quarterback's eyes. They got in position, and they made the interception. The 
Falcons offense failed to muster a single first down the last time they had it. Let's see if their offense this time can create a few sparks. Well, you know the coaches were upset at him uh, when they went to the sideline. So the sense of urgency is there. You should be fired up, and I expect a better drive this time. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. Second down and 11. Oh, and almost picked off that time. Well, when you get in a situation like this, Jim, and you get third and long, I'll tell you what catches a defense by surprise. Run a double move on the outside against the defensive back because everybody in the stands and the defensive players all think they're going to throw it short. We're getting close to the two-minute warning. Time for one more play. Brings it into his body. Going to take it the distance. The 20. The 10. Touchdown. And now we reach the two-minute warning here in the second quarter. Falcons for the extra point. He made it. The Bills cannot come up with any answers here before halftime. And now they await the kickoff. Perhaps they can put some points on the board. the intermission the scores 21 to 3 and here's thick pin and he's taken down right at about the 29 not quite to the 30 the bills just gave up some big turnover points Let's see if they can hold on to the football this time, Phil, because we know how crucial it is. We talked to the coaches about it this week. This was their concern with this team. Well, if you want to stay on the field, you better quit turning it over, right, Jim? That's what they, the coaches, look, you, you make mistakes on the field, they're going to get, they're going to be forgiving to a point, but you've got to be smart, you've got to be efficient, and get the job done. Get ready. The Bills from the 37. Ball's thrown incomplete. Great coverage there by the defense. <laughs> the offense needs two yards here on third down following the incompletion. The Bills come to the line of scrimmage and empty out the backfield. Everyone split out wide. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. Everybody's back out on the field now after that defensive timeout. a touchback and the ball will be spotted at the 20. Falcons offense enjoying an outstanding first half here partner and they're sitting on a pretty comfortable lead as we draw near the break. Yeah their offense is playing well now the defensive side what you have to do you're getting beat up a little bit so go in there at halftime make some changes call some different defensive formations to give your players a much better chance of success. The Falcons, one timeout remaining. That timeout might be very useful for the offense. They're now ready to go. be taking this one from the gun out of the shotgun 
looking to go down the field here. And it's incomplete. Well, sometimes when you have a talented receiver, you just got to put up with plays like that. He might drop a few, but when he does catch it, it can make a big play. Second down after the incompletion. Ryan from the gun. And it's batted down. Sometimes on third and long from the defensive side, I like the fact that you can blitz. Send more guys that they can block. Make the quarterback throw the football quickly and short. Then it's all up to coming up and making the tackle. Ryan's ready for the snap. Empty backfield. Launching it deep. But it's incomplete. Good anticipation that time by the defender. He gets to the receiver just as the football's arriving. And he makes a beautiful hit to knock the football loose. coming back onto the field here desperately trying to avoid a repeat of their last drive when they had the quick three and out I'll tell you what if they go three and out again you know what's going to happen those defensive players are going to be looking at them as they come off the field you put this back out there already so it's important to get a drive give your defense a little rest the Bills signal for the timeout and that's the first one they've used Offense ready to play after calling a timeout. Out of the shotgun formation. And he's forced to the ground. That's an excellent job by the defense. Just gets quick penetration in there. Hits the quarterback and gets the sack. That clock keeps moving. What a job by the defense in this situation. The Bills will take the snap from the 35. Watkins ends up being the target and the receiver. The Bills are going to call a timeout. Want to talk about this third down. They connect on that pass play, but it's still third down. Dropping back now into the shotgun to Williams. Keeps churning ahead. And they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. The Bills have to take their final timeout. That's it. That timeout might be very useful for the offense. They're now ready to go. The Bills will go for it here on fourth down and short. From the gun. The Bills turn the ball over on downs. Got to give the secondary credit. In this passing league now, it's hard to make plays, but a good play there and another incomplete pass. The Falcons didn't get much out of that last drive, so now here they come again on offense. I'm sure they're going to be a little bit more of an urgency to the offense this time. Well, I'll just say this to you, Jim Lance. I sure hope so. After that last drive, that was just too generic, wasn't very well thought out, and they got to change what they're doing on the offensive side. Got to give that defense a little credit, though, don't you? Well, yeah, the defense did its job, but man, that was pretty easy. The offense has had time now to game plan, strategize after the timeout, and now they're ready to go. This will be a field goal attempt from 49 yards out. Comes up short. And that will close out the first half from Western New York. And we'll take a short break for halftime before returning for the third quarter.
Thanks, Jim. I'm Larry Ridley, and welcome to the EA Sports Halftime Report. The Bills are down right now, but they have to feel like they're still in it. The Falcons have been the better team, though, and will try to maintain the lead in the second half. All right, let's take a look at some of the highlights from the first half. Falcons have it at the four. Freeman's got it on the run, and he'll take this four yards for the score. Falcons is now on top. Falcons have it at the seven. Here the pass is completed into coverage, and this will go all the way for a touchdown. That puts them on top by 14. About halfway through the second quarter. Here the throw is hurried and picked off. Trufant is the one who makes the pick, halting the offense's drive. Offense out now following the INT. The catch is made after a quick pass, and after the short pass, he'll score. That takes the lead up to 18. First and 10, Ryan's completion is made out of the gun. And he'll eventually be brought down, but not before getting to the 32-yard line. So that will do it for us in the studio. We'll head back to the field now for the start of the second half. Back now at... stadiums in the NFL. Ralph Wilson Stadium. Jim Nance, Bill Sims, Danielle Bellini for the beginning of the third quarter. Dixon's got a chance to return this one. And the tackle's made. The offense will start their drive from about the 31. The Bills. Bill, what's the issue with this team? This offense specifically. Three straight drives without a score. Well, Jim, I'd say this. It's bad coaching. I, I just hate what they're trying to do on the offensive side. They're not putting their players in position to give them a chance to compete against this defense. They've got to they've change things up, give their offense a chance, and give these players a chance. McCoy is a dangerous runner when you give him room to run, but there is no room this time. What a job by the defense. They bottle him up for a short game. The Bills will take the snap from the 35. Play with the reception. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. That's a good job by the receiver running the drag route across the field. These are not easy throws for the quarterback, but he sticks it right on him for the completion. First down coming up. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Here's the handoff. McCoy's taken down at the 46. He's averaging about four yards a carry. McCoy's never able to build up that power that he has as a running back when there's nowhere to go. Hey, there's nowhere to go. That's a short game. And it'll be second down and six after the running play on first down. The Bills approach the line, and they're going with their jumbo package. And the throw, it's incomplete. Well, your teammates are really going to respect you after something like this. Anytime you're on that field as an athlete, and when you give all your effort to every single play like that time, how about that? Just giving every bit of effort he can to make the catch, not able to get it. But what a job and effort. Third down following the incompletion. The Falcons defense now loading up, expecting pass with a dying defense. Has Watkins. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. Well, the quarterback has such great confidence in the receiver. And why not? He's talented. And every time the football's thrown his way, he finds a way to make the catch. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. The give. McCoy taken down. The Bills are down on the scoreboard, and this running game is a big reason why. McCoy's been stopped from the first quarter. Running game has no chance. That's obvious. We've seen it here today, and it's time for this offense to open it up. Quit trying to run the football and throw it down the field. Let's go. Second and ten. They'll run it with him again. McCoy taken down. Holding offense. 
The defense will take the penalty. And following that penalty, it sets up second down and 17. The Bills with an empty backfield look here. Takes it from the gun. Throws the pass. He's wide open for the grab. That's his third catch of the day. I don't know what the answer is when it comes to guarding these tight ends now. There's just not much you can do. Uh, I'll tell you the best way to stop the tight end, rush the quarterback. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. They'll go shotgun here. Woods with the catch. That's a gain of only a yard. You got to be able to adjust when you run these drag routes across the field. The throw cannot always be right on target. Can you reach behind, make the catch, and keep going full speed? That's the sign of a good receiver. Second down. Falcons will come out in the dime. Drop back, shotgun formation. And the catch is made by Percy Harvin. Gains 14. I know it looks easy, but it's not. But a nice throw on the slant route. Slant route means you're slanting towards the inside. Good throw and catch. When you get down in the red zone, the offensive coordinator's got to call a play that deceives the defense. Let's see if he can do it. His team is down. He needs a big play here. They're just grinding away down here, inching closer to the end zone. Well, that's what you got to do sometimes. It's hard always to think that you're going to come out and just make big plays you got to do the dirty work and this offense is doing it right now ready. ready to make the stop on over the line touchdown nice job up front by the offensive line they get a good push easy for the quarterback to run the sneak and get the touchdown score the bills getting set now for the extra point Makes the PAT. The Falcons returners are back deep. They still have that big lead. Scores 21 to 10. No return. The ball's coming out to the 20. The Falcons offense takes the field. Let's see if this momentum can carry over from the first half because they have been brilliant to this point, Parker. Yeah, a lot of things change in that locker room at halftime. You know, you, you might feel good about what you've done. Of course, you've got to realize the defense might be upset and is willing to come out here and take more chances in the second half. Always good to have these types of runs. Hey, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. The Falcons from the 27. Had it for just a second, but then it came out on contact. Well, there's nothing like a big hit. When you get it and it connects, it gives your defense some emotion. Look at the guys, how they're jumping around. Hey, that gets everybody excited. Empty backfield look for Ryan here. Falcons from the 27. The reception is made by Roddy White. That's what you want to do. Just get a first down, especially when you're on top. Keep the clock moving. Keep the defense guessing. Make them react instead of attack. The Falcons will take the snap from the 30. Slashes to the left side. Keeps his legs moving. Holding offense. 
That penalty is, of course, Still going to be accepted by the defense. First down at the 25. They'll run it here. The Falcons offensive coordinator, he has to be frustrated by that play. I think he calls the right play, but what happens is the run loses yards. That's just a bad job by the offensive line. Loss of two on that play. Matt Ryan from the shotgun. Almost intercepted that time. Incompletion by the quarterback that time. It was good, tight, man-to-man -man coverage. Now, looking at third down. Lions lined up, empty backfield. Out of the gun. White's got it on a pass that had some heat. The Falcons are in front thanks to their quarterback. Ryan's done everything he can to keep his team on top. He has been so efficient here today. Very smart, making decisions. And when you put those two things together, that's why your football team is winning. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Jones is out there to receive the screen pass. And now they'll be on the other side of the 50 after this play. That's what you call a bullet pass. Very little space to throw the football into, but he gets it done. A lot of velocity right on target. An extra tight end on the field for this one. Second and eight. Freeman's taking the handoff. He's averaging five yards per carry on the day. Freeman's trying to be patient, but there is nowhere to run that time, and he only gets a short game. Third and seven coming up. Ryan will be taking this snap out of the pistol. Jim, that's a nice job by the defender knocking that football down on third down. That's what you want to do as a defense, of course. You want to get. Off the field. Every time an offense completes a third down pass, their chances of getting a score on that drive go up big time. So getting off the field is great. Nice job by the defender. The Bills offense preparing to get this drive underway. Their last drive actually ended in a touchdown, Phil. We'll see if they still have it in them to issue a repeat performance. Well, what you saw in that last drive was everything just came together perfectly for him. The experience of the football team, the talent of the players, and the coaches helped them out, and they got it done. McCoy breaks at the tackle. Nothing like a running back who fights for every extra yard. When you get that extra yard or two, what it does, it just creates better situations for your offense. Let's go! One, two, three. Second down and four. Ball is out. They recover their own fumble. The third quarter comes to a close, and you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. have the football as the fourth quarter gets started. Fortunate to recover the fumble and now facing third and four. Final quarter underway now with this snap. Intercepted! He's in the clear. In stride, and he's home for the touchdown. You're talking about getting your team full of emotion and getting everything on your side. How about that interception by the defense and then taking it back all the way for the score? Extra point was good. The Bills are getting ready for the return and can't.
return to a competitive state in this one as the game is starting to get out of hand. The scores 28 to 10. They'll take it at the 20. The Bills came out and ran the football with success, but that certainly has leveled off. McCoy's had less space to maneuver as this game's gone on. Yeah, let's give the defense a little credit. They finally said, okay, we got to find a way to stop this running game. They changed the defense a little bit, and it's worked. From the gun. Going for the home run. Failing to complete that one. So, second down here. Falcon set at the line. Dime package. Snap it out of the gun. They're going to get him here for a sack. What a good scheme that time by the defense. They confuse the offense. They blitz. They don't know who to pick up. And how about the defender? They must love this. Coming in free and gets a good clean shot on the QB and gets a sack. After that big time sack, they'll now face third and 17. Get ready. From the shotgun. Going for the deep ball. The Bills. The side, they will punt the football. Hester's got a chance this time. And they tackle him down at the 37-yard line. The Falcons counted on the passing game early, but it slowed down after a hot start. Ryan's tried to adjust to the defense, but it hasn't worked out. Well, he's tried, but listen, there's nothing he can do about the offensive line. It's not been as sharp, and I'll tell you what, when an offensive line is not sharp, a quarterback's going to lose confidence. He's now over 60 yards rushing on the ground. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. The Falcons from the 32. A close rush with an interception that time by Gilmore. When you're going against a good quarterback and receiver in the NFL now, one of the ways to stop it is tight man-to-man -man coverage. You against him. It's third down coming up. Ryan's going to be in the pistol here. Looking across the middle. Incomplete. Almost going in the other direction. What a job by the defender that time. Reading the quarterback and the receiver and being in position to knock that football away. That's a clinic. Put that on the highlight film and show guys how to do it. So many times when you see these field goal kickers miss it, it's just about mechanics. What was it? Were the steps wrong? Did he plant his foot in the right spot? And you got to hit that football in the perfect spot, too. A little bit of everything went wrong that time.
The Bills weren't able to get anything out of their last drive and were forced to punt as they take the field here. Do you think they are going to vary their approach, Phil? And intercepted! He's brought down. Falcons came out today and it really looked like the running game would be big for them, but it's fallen off a bit. Freeman's had less success as this game's gone on, Phil. It's hard to physically dominate a team from start to finish in the NFL. The domination was there early, but the defense has risen up, and now they're going to have to find another way to move this football. I think the coach on the sidelines, he's going to be happy with every first down because he knows that's more time off the clock. When you're up like this, multiple scores in the second half, every first down just puts the odds in your favor of winning this game. Freeman's lined up as the single back. Handoff made. Freeman's tackled down after a gain of 10. Phil, today we've seen a running back who was putting up some big rushing totals. Jim, sometimes I get tired of talking about the quarterbacks and wide receivers, how well they're doing. What a good change of pace to watch the game evolve around a running back. And man, this guy has taken advantage of those opportunities. First and 10. Tammy, the target. Tammy's able to get the job done and picks up the first down. Good job that time by the offense. They pick up a first down inside the 20-yard line. Now we'll see if they can punch it in and get seven points. First and goal to go from the two. And it's Hughes there to meet him. Only two yards to go to pay dirt. That defensive front looks impenetrable here on the goal line. Knocked down as he fires it. Ryan's in a whole lot of pain right now. We'll take an injury timeout and be back in just a moment. Third and goal from the two. Out of the eye. Here's the handoff. Oh, my gosh. It is the worst thing you can do on the offensive side. This drives coaches crazy. When you get down near the goal line, you run the football, and you lose yards. That's just not being tough enough. And he converts here on the field goal try. That's a little bit of insurance for them with the field goal here midway through the fourth quarter, Phil. Yeah, it was. That was a good drive by the offense and really some bad play calling on the defensive side. No one. Where you're losing this game. And a touchback. The Bills hope to get things going here. They have been anything but productive here in quite some time. Three consecutive drives that have led to nowhere. Well, let's give a lot of credit to the defensive side, especially the defensive line. They are absolutely taking it to the offense. They are beating them up, and the defensive line is winning the battles like this. It's all about the defense. When you see this cover two defense as a quarterback, you got to know where to throw the football. That time, he did not make a good decision. You got to throw it sometimes deep down the middle. The safeties are not there. They're outside. He did not take advantage of that coverage that time. Going to be a penalty here. Holding offense. The defense accepts the penalty. Coming up, second down. The Bills lined up. Everybody split out wide. They'll hike it to him out of the shotgun. Down the field, jumps up and hauls it in. Can 
you believe how vertical he got there? I can believe it, Jim Nance. I can't because we see it so often. The receivers in the NFL are just unbelievable. We take these catches for granted, but that was a tremendous play. Now first and ten. Down on the field. Got the completion. The catches have come in bunches for this wide receiver, Phil. Good job by this wide out today. He is finding a way to catch the football. But let's also give credit to the offensive line for pass protection and the coaching staff. They have done a tremendous job of coming up with different plays to find different ways for him to catch the football. That's a touchdown, and that tightens things up. Well, it's first and goal. I think a lot of defense is a thinking run here, and so the offense, they call a nice play, very deceptive. They throw the football, and they get the easy touchdown pass. The Bills getting set now for the extra point. And the point after is good. The Falcons will get it back in a moment. Still have a two-possession lead. Scores 31 to 17. The Falcons in kick return formation. Hester, the return man here. The Falcons stepping back onto the field to get this next drive underway. Their previous possession was a field goal. Yeah, I think they feel good about that field goal. They made some good plays, and they got down there, and they moved the football, and they, they got in position where they could kick the field goal. Now you take the knowledge that you gained from that last drive, use it, and try to go down there now and score a touchdown. They've got to be wondering, though, can they finish off a drive today? Second down and one. They're going to run it on the toss. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. And now we reach the two-minute warning. We're back. Only two minutes remain in this one. First down at the 41. Back to the ground. Freeman's marked down at the 41. And the defense will use one of its timeouts right here. The defense needed to slow this game down, so that may be a very useful timeout. Now they're ready to go. Second and 10 coming up. The Falcons snap it at the 41. Darius has the sack. And there's the timeout, so we'll take one with them. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. It'll be third down. Going to take the handoff now. Timeout called by the defensive unit. After that defensive timeout, we're ready for action. This will bounce into the end zone for a touchback. Being a number one receiver means you find ways to get involved. And he has as this game's gone on, Phil. When you call him the number one receiver, what does that mean? They don't care about the circumstances. I mean, the coaches, no matter what they see on the field, they expect him to get it done, and that's what he's doing now. Now on first down, every right. snap crucial the rest of the way. He reaches up and grabs it. 
Well, don't look at the scoreboard, which tells you you're down by a couple scores. Just concentrate on every single play and try to get another first down. From the gun. Going deep. He caught it. That's reception. Number seven for him. First down. Pressure on every snap now. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. Away from the ball, there's a flag down on the field. Illegal block in the ball. Offense. It's an illegal block in the back, and the coaching staff cannot be happy about this. No, it's a bad decision, and most of all, it's dangerous. You can hurt players when you block them like that. Now on first down, every snap crucial the rest of the way. The Bills are at the line of scrimmage with a spread formation. The reception by Sammy Watkins. The Bills offensive coordinator does a good job that time calling the pass down here in the red zone. Caught the defense off guard. They got the completion for a good game. Falcon with two extra defensive backs in the dime. Robert Woods with the reception. Well, when you see a play like this by the offensive player, that is a great reflection on the coach. You can tell they've gone over these situations. When you're fighting the clock and you can get out of bounds, get it done. Touchdown as we near the end of this one. and even after that touchdown they're going to need a miracle in the closing moments well, i think what we're finding out the game is never over play it till the end they did a great job of scoring there now can they find a way to get that football back and maybe win this game the bills kicking team comes out now as the offense takes a break and they deserve one after going down the field mainly through the air with over 70 yards passing They have been. Fighting an uphill battle, and they had to recover that onside kick. Well, it's a tough spot for Jim. We know that. You're going for the onside kick, and you're trying to recover it. I think your chances are about one out of ten. And that time, it was not on their side. The running game has been going in opposite directions for these teams today, Phil, but it's still a tight game. Yeah, Jim, simple on the offensive side. Do whatever you have to do to make it work. If you're running it well, stay with it. On the other side, you got to find ways to deceive the defense. Change up. If you do that, your chances of success, they go way up. Takes the knee. This was a hard-fought game, partner, but somebody had to lose. Oh, man, nothing worse than being such a hard-fought game. It's physical. You, you get hit a lot. It's, it's rough and tough. And then you go in the locker room, and you still lost a close one. Tough to take. Phil Sims and all the crew at EA Sports. Jim Nance saying so long for now.